hi you guys i will be showing you a quick and easy chicken and dumpling recipe perfect for the fall and one of my favorite comfort foods we're going to start off by dicing some onions and fresh garlic fresh garlic not the jar garlic but fresh garlic um, we're going to go ahead and add in our diced carrots as well as our diced celery We are gonna go ahead and season our cleaned chicken. Um, I use chicken thighs. For my seasonings, I use the Sazon Total Complete Seasoning, Cajun Seasoning, Italian, and uh, Paprika. So next we're going to add some olive oil um, in so that we can incorporate those seasonings into our chicken and we're just going to rub those seasonings in getting the chicken nice and coated. Again I did use thighs but you can use whatever your heart desires. And then once that chicken is coated, we are going to add it to a hot pan. I did use my Dutch oven um, with some olive oil and we are going to sear those chicken thighs. I did not uh, cook them completely, but if you want to, feel free to do that. Um, here you see me removing the chicken thighs. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to my um, pot and wait for it to melt down and add up those diced veggies from earlier and we're going to just give them a quick little uh, saute down um, until they're nice and cooked. Then we're going to add a can of the, um, what is this? chicken cream of chicken with herbs <laughs> we're going to add a can of the cream of chicken with herbs and get that nice and mixed in once that cooks down a little bit we are going to add um, a little bit of flour just because i only had one can of cream of chicken so i will add a little bit of flour and make sure you incorporate that really well and let that flour cook down And next we're going to go in with some chicken broth. I used about um, three cups and we're going to stir that in. And then I did go in with a about a cup and a half of water just because I don't like my foods to be extremely salty. And I know with that cream of chicken plus the chicken broth is going to add extra salt to that. Um, so we're going to add those chicken thighs back into our broth so that they can finish cooking. All right. We're going to add in our... Um, bay leaves and some fresh rosemary and cover that on up until the chicken is cooked after our chicken is done cooking we're going to take it out and shred it i probably could have used like one or two more thighs but it's okay i'm going to shred that chicken up and add it back into our broth and give it a little good old mixy mix So I'm now going in with um, a little bit more seasoning. We're going to add some garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of uh, seasoning salt. But again, not too much because I do not like my foods to be extremely salty. We are then going to go in with some heavy whipping cream. You can use as much or as little as your heart desires. And we're going to go ahead and give that a good mix. Um, please remember to take out the stems from your um, rosemary and as well as your bay leaves. So finally for our dumplings, I use the buttermilk biscuits. Please make sure that you use the regular biscuits and not the flaky. Um, I did like break off small pieces and put into the soup once they are in there you're going to cover that soup back up and let those biscuits or your dumplings cook and there you have it and chicken and dumplings i hope you guys enjoy let me know if you try it